All right, round three for this Remington. Just think, oh, it's a Remington. Remington Rustler RM2510. This thing's been a battle. Now, I put it in the description of the last video I done of this thing. <clears throat> Trust me, I know it shouldn't have took this many other videos to get it going, but you know, got other stuff I got going on. But anyhow, this disc. If you didn't read the description in the last video, I'm pretty sure that disc, when we took this apart, it was the other way around. So the spring is actually set underneath this instead of in it. That's you know, the way I have it. But I'm going to leave it because uh, it's, you know, it's riding on metal instead of riding on plastic. Granted, it still hits this plastic, but you know, it's uh, just seemed better to me in this way than the other way I'm new engineer but I'm leaving it like that so I bought a kit off of Amazon for it was cheap too it was like six bucks six ninety nine I think but it came with a bunch of rope and three handles and uh so it was cheap I figure you know at some point I'll need a need more for something else so I got the rope put back on so now it's just reassembling it and once we get it reassembled then we'll take it out so we can try to start it and get more than a turn and a half to two turns on the piston because it's what we had going on just wasn't cutting it so we'll get this reassembled and we'll finally get to try it out I hope all right here we go moment of truth hopefully this works I'm hoping we don't have any carb issues but if we do I have a backup carburetor for it and that I think is good. So let's try priming it up. So it's priming. Alright, let's choke her out. Still no luck. It is super humid out. So like I'm saying, I'm not sure, you know, it's hard to tell if the carb's actually any good. It's because the primer's working doesn't mean much. It could have a bad check valve in it or anything, so. You get a little fuel in it, try to get it to kick off. Hopefully that'll help. Let's quit firing for some reason. I thought it was going to take off here for a second. Okay, so we know it's firing. It's running off of what we primed it with. So it's a good chance that carb does have issues. So it doesn't like running without the choke on. What I'm going to do take the Pac Man tool. Oh yeah, these things are like hard to turn. So I'll bottom them out. So we got the low all the way in. Now we're doing the high. The high is the outside, the low is the inside. And we'll give them a couple turns, see if that helps. I don't know, I doubt these things are pretty rusty. It definitely had a lot of setting in its time. One. A little bit more. Okay, so it's about two on the low, two on the high, roughly. So let's try it now. Get it to where it'll obviously idle 
then we can it'd be a lot easier to set everything. Let's try half a choke, see if that helps. Back them down a little bit. Two turns for this one might be too much. Yeah, got something going on. See, it could be just be a bad check valve in there. Thing looks like it's been setting for a long time, but we ain't going to give up on it. Some of these things are like super finicky. I mean, super finicky. And you're talking like an eighth of a turn or less can make a difference. do this Let's see if we can do a get the pressure off of it we're going to try do a, a real quick real quick real quick carb swap yeah might have to go see what the dog's barking at but we're going to try this hopefully this works I actually thought this might happen. I didn't have time to even attempt to order another carburetor. So I'm hoping the lines don't split. What was that one? Oh, come on. We've got our return line, no problem. Get it? It's starting to go. Thankfully, the lines will appear to be in good shape. If I can get a, get a hold of it. There we go. So it takes care of that one. If you do it, make sure you're, there's a rubber gasket there. Make sure that rubber gasket stays in place. And I just lost myself. Okay, so our green line is returned, and the black line was main fuel, right? Yeah. So main fuel on the bottom, return on the top, and hope for the best, right? And 
can't forget that. Did I hook it up? No, I did not. That's why I hate brushing stuff. There we go. So we now our spring's hooked up. Yeah, the other gasket's still in there from the other trimmer. So it ain't gonna hurt nothing. Now, this thing looks right. Fingers crossed. And hopefully, that is a good carburetor. Let me set this out of the way. Alright, let's try this again. Open up. Come on. Think rocket. I'm not picking up any fuel. Don't this just suck? Make sure I get them hooked up right. Yeah. Well, let me go down. I think I got another one down there. Let me go take a look and we'll be right back. All right, so be card number three. Took the original one off, put this one on. I don't know what's going on with it, but uh, whatever. And got this one, I already swapped them out and I put a fuel filter on it. So that one wouldn't even prime up. This one, as it is it's it primed up so let's see see what we get All right, take the choke off come on true test is I did put some string on it when I had it down in the basement so hopefully I picked all that up if I didn't I think I smacked the tripod earlier but so the curve third carb done the trick had to adjust it just a little bit and to known fact some of these after you let them run for a while they get them good and hot and work them you may have to go back in and readjust them but so what we're going to do is I got some stuff out front that I can trim so we're going to run and take it out there and uh, I'll take the adjustment tool. This one, the other ones were the Pac-Man style. This one is the D style. So I'm gonna take that with me 
and the flathead, the camera, and we're going to go out here and see if it will actually go to work. All right, I'll pick it up out front. All right, here we go. Let me get this thing fired up. Let's see what happens. finishing it here I'm gonna do this whole patch and we'll see if it needs a readjustment yeah, there we go all trimmed up it's running good now we did have to adjust the low out a little bit got about three quarters of the way through and it started uh, <coughs> acting up bumped the idle up just a hair opened the low up probably eighth of a turn and sitting here running great now so there we go we finally got success a winner five bucks in a low aggravation all right guys thanks for watching happy fourth of july